I'm going to be painting a iconic bright foliage autumn landscape for you. The challenge is to not make the foliage look too garish. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my lightest lights up here before my alcohol. Right now it's nice and clean and this, these are my lightest values. The thing that's important with the sky is to get a transition. Can you see that value transition from a little bit darker up here to lighter down here? Oftentimes it's hard for us to see because we're so used to seeing blue sky. But if we don't paint that transition, then this area looks flat and it takes and reminds us we're working on a two-dimensional surface. We're trying to convince people we're working on three, that we are, they're looking at a three-dimensional visual. So what I'll do, that's why I put the dark up at the top like that. And then what I'll do is I'll drag it down and work on getting that value transition coming down. There's a lot of light coming down through here, so let's just throw a little bit of that bright sunshine that's happening right in here. Oof, I just love that sort of thing. It's really pretty. The purple underneath is so nice. You get a sense of that bright light scudding across there. This relationship here between the sky and the nearest landmass is the most important value relationship in a landscape painting. And the reason why is because if your sky is too dark here, then to make it look like your reference, you're going to make your trees too dark. Your tree is too dark, it's going to make the grasses too dark, it's going to make the road too dark, it just leads all the way on down. If this is too light, the opposite happens. These are too light, this is too light, this is too light, this is too light, and your whole piece looks washed out. So if you slow down in the very beginning and you get that value relationship working right, then everything else should fall into place because you will be referring back to these points all the way through your painting. So now I can't just rely upon getting my sky the right value here, which I really like the, um, the warmth in the underpainting coming through and I don't want to cover all up that warmth all up because this blue sky is sitting out here in a square all by itself seemingly with no relationship whatsoever to the rest of the palette of this piece. But if I've got that warmth underneath, that warmth there is relating to the warmth that's in here. The other thing I'm doing then is I'm taking that blue sky and casting it down here in the road and some of it might show up in some of these grasses as well with blues, but those go down on the very end. So.